everybody, welcome to another Destiny 2 video. Today is going to be a bit of more of a rant video, it's going to be a lot less organized, because I have some issues to discuss about this uh, new season. So, if you've uh, played this season, you probably know that uh, the Reckoning weapons from Season of the Drifter came back. Some of the most beloved weapons... Uh, mainly the spare rations, but the soul survivor was also good and they were reintroduced this season It's crazy how a bunch of youtubers pretended like they didn't know that it was gonna happen since if you've been on Twitter, you've probably seen all the leaks and Some of these youtubers even uh, talked about the person who was uh, leaking all this information So I, th I just thought it was funny how much of them just pretended to be surprised but The main thing is gonna be this the spare rations. One of the uh, most powerful hand cannons uh, to ever be inside of Destiny 2. Back in the day, you'd want slide shot rapid hit or rapid hit multi kill clip because rapid hit was very strong back in the day. They since like not necessarily nerfed it, but um, adjusted it so that you get less of the benefits if you only have a a few stacks of rapid hit. Uh, after a couple of nerfs, the god roll was essentially rapid hit range finder. And now when it's re-released, you can't get rapid hit slide shot as a roll. You can't get range finder at all. And now your best roll is slide shot opening shot or rapid hit kill clip. I still think it's really dumb how you can get arrowhead break extended barrel and chambered compensator when the recoil direction is always at 100 i think they're just so used to adding all of these uh perks that they just kind of forget that there's three of them that are completely outclassed by the other perks so spare rations isn't the only uh weapon that got totally destroyed by its reintroduction but uh it's one of the big ones. I think that this origin trait, disaster plan, it's good, but it's not good enough to be uh, worth getting rid of rangefinder over. Another thing that they did was that they didn't turn spare rations into an adaptive frame. This is honestly a very terrible decision. I mean, if you look at the... Uh, Currently, non-sunset weapons that used to be 150 RPM lightweight frames. You have the Dire Promise, Waking Vigil, Spare Rations, and the Rose. And only one of them is meta. It's the Rose, and it's a lightweight frame. So I thought they'd, they'd be uh, turning these old 150s into 140 lightweight frames. But it seems like that they're not going to. Which really sucks, because Waking Vigil and Spare Rations are some of my most favorite hand cannons and they just really don't know what they're doing. Another big one has to be Soul Survivor. If you look at Soul Survivor uh, from back in the day, we could roll snapshot opening shot. And this is particularly important because when you compare it to the Beloved, the Beloved outclasses the Soul Survivor in every way until opening shot is active then the uh soul survivor beats out the beloved beloved can roll moving target but even then it's still like noticeably worse com in the range department and so usually weapon stats are balanced around whether they can or cannot roll with opening shot king's fall kind of changed that with the defiance of yasmin just had being a stat monster yet still having an opening shot. Same thing with the new uh, comp sniper, the Mercurial Overreach. That is also an insane stat monster and it can roll snapshot opening shot, which kind of breaks the rules of how weapons should be balanced. So why am I bringing this up? When they reintroduced Soul Survivor, they had the brilliant idea of removing opening shot. So now it's just, it's just worse than beloved and you can't do anything to fix that it is simply worse and what they got rid of it for eye of the storm who cares 
Eye of the Storm is not a good sniper trait because you need to be damaged. And if you're being damaged, you're probably being flinched. If you're being flinched, you're probably not going to hit your shot. Then, I mean, this is mostly a PvE, uh, P video, but in terms of uh, PvE changes, they removed 4th times the charm. Which is, why? Why would they do that? It's not like this was going to break the meta, but now your best rules are field prep, lead from gold with firing line, and you can't even enhance lead from gold to get the uh, double benefit. So, it's just a lot of uh, bad things. They did uh, keep a good role for the Outlast, which was a pretty decent option back in the day. Uh, Rangefinder Kill Clip. But, uh, Last Man Standing is also very much in the same boat. Where it was, it was okay back in the day. If you watch any Cambi Cakes videos, you'll probably know that you wanted opening shot 1-2 punch. But seeing how this can't be enhanced, any other shotgun with enhanced 1-2 punch is simply better. And they nerfed 1-2 punch a while back where now you can't kill uh, Titan bubbles. I mean, Titans in their bubble. So that just really sucks. They didn't reintroduce the Lonesome and Gnawing Hunger. Kind of makes sense since they're not Sunset, but it still would have been nice to get good perks. Especially since you can't really obtain them in a reasonable manner. Uh, the other two missing weapons are the uh, Grenade Launcher, something else, but that's probably going to be in the dungeon. Even though that every every player that has like played those dungeons and seen that we just get reprised loot as two of the drops, it's never it's never really fun because it's it's much less preferred to uh, get old loot compared to getting new loops. But overall, I just don't know what the team was thinking about when making the perk options on the Soul Survivor and Spare Rations. I doubt that they're going to fix it. I doubt that Spare Rations is going to be anything good, especially compared to the Rose. I mean, I liked Spare Rations back in the day, but... It just doesn't seem worth it at all anymore. And it's really annoying that these used to be Gambit weapons, but instead of being added back into Gambit, a playlist that desperately needs new content, they decided it they decided to make it so it drops from uh, fishing or the Defiant Engrams instead of just making it Gambit drops. Now you have to buy a season to get loot that you've probably already earned before and it's not even really good loot another thing that I just have to complain about this has this isn't so much to do with uh, these reckoning drops but the new the, the new seasonal engram system is absolutely terrible for free-to-play players it has one benefit which is that it doesn't take up your inventory space and then it has all the downsides of not being accessible to free-to-play players and free-to-play players losing a valuable source of legendary weapons, which is legendary shards. And we can't focus them for free into, like, world drop weapons, which you're probably going to add next season. And it very much seems like Bungie's trying to sneak their way in with uh, more... Uh, things to keep away from free to play free to play players, which is really scummy. Seeing how free to play the free to play experience is considered by many Destiny Two players as one of the worst experiences in the game, especially like buying your expansions and stuff. But I've kind of ranted too long. Uh, I'm just really mad at all this stuff. I'm, I'm still not buying the season, though. <laughs> uh, have a good day, and that was my rant for today.